Hello students. So we have started with our chapter three numbers, right? So let us learn how to represent a number in the in their own place. So this is a example of number using a spike abacus. So you will all play with this using a beads, isn't it? So you will be getting a color color beads. So let us using the spike abacus. Here I have written and I have drawn a beads in a colors. So I have here one two three four five six seven eight nine. Again one two three four five six seven eight nine. One two three four five six seven eight nine. So in all the three columns I have nine nine beads. So it is. It's in the O means one place. So that is first place. Once place we have nine bits. Again in the tenth place we have nine bits. Again in the hundredth place we have nine bits. So I have written in the numbers here. So here we are representing nine hundred and ninety-nine bits in a spike abacus. So let us see by another example here. We have four columns. So first column is ones, and second column is tens, third is hundreds, and fourth column is thousand. So here I am going to represent a number one thousand. So students, here is a num. We don't have any numbers. That is numbers. We have just zero. So whenever we are getting zero, we need did not we don't want to uh, represent a beads or any other drawings in the particular place. So I have not drawn any beads over here, and even in the tenth place we have zero. So I am I have not mentioned any beads. In the hundred place also I have zero. So I have not mentioned any beads. But in the thousands place, I have one number one. So because of I am having a number one, I have written only one beat. Okay. If I have two thousand, so if I have number two, I should draw a two beats. Okay. If I have number three, I should draw three beats. Okay. According to the number, we have to draw a beats in the abacus. Okay, so using the column, so we have to draw the column in this way. The first column in our right side comes ones, and next to that we get tens, and next to that we get hundreds, and next to that we get thousands. So students always keep remember whenever we are writing a number, we have to start a number writing using from ones. So, for example, nine hundred and ninety-nine. So, first look at this number, ones place. So, write nine in ones place. Next number nine, you have to write in the tenth place. Next number nine, write in the hundredth place. So, this is the way how we have to write the numbers in the chart. Okay. So. For example, for thousand, how we have to write? Let us see. So write zero here again, second zero, and third zero, and the fourth number one. So for example, shall I write one number that is seven four three two? So here I have how many numbers? Yes, I have four numbers. So start with two. Don't start with seven. So start with two. Write two in ones place. So two I am going to write in ones place. Again three in tens place. Four in hundreds place. And seven finally in thousands place. So this is a way we have to write the numbers in the chart. So I hope you understood with this. Uh, how to write our numbers thank you so much